Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is part two of Divided We Fall, and we're going to kick things off the way we ended things with an eight-man tag team match. This time, it is Team McLeod, consisting of the Morse Bros, Tony and Colton, teaming with Chuck Tyler and McLeod himself, taking on Team Angus, which is Angus... Finley Alexander and Finn Belstead, known as the Scotland Yard, teaming up with Luca Ritchie. <clears throat> so let's get things started, shall we? Also, coming up right after this, you will see the uh, 3DW Kick Ass Championship on the line. Stay tuned. Alright, so. Again, same rule applies here. Whoever gets the winning fall will then get a title shot in the near future. So sometime soon, we'll look at a title shot. And that will, of course, be decided by the general manager of Miracle. Which ultimately would be made by me, because I make the storyline. <laughs> but yes. Alright, so, here we go, the mid-carters are going to start things off, just getting everybody in the ring. Also tonight... Still to come is the ProtoNet Championship on the line. As Akira defends against Aiden Burke. Here we go. Well okay. done. Now we have Chuck Tyler starting things off against Luca Ritchie. Also, we have uh, two rematches, or sorry, we have our rematch between Noah Colton and Miracle World, our MWF World Champion, Mr. Ryder Prendeville. And of course, Itchy will defend his KPW Championship against Jojo the Psycho Clown. Alright, here we go. Divided we fall. And, oh, knocked right down. <coughs> and, lock up. And here we go, here is Colton Morse. He's in the ring right now. And, we have a tag. Here comes Finn Belstead. So he is the one with the sideburns, and then Finley Alexander will be the one without. 
And here comes McLeod again. Or here comes McLeod for the first time in this match, I mean. He is the team captain. Immediately gets taken into an abdominal stretch, but he kicks out within a second. And Mike Maxwell looking on in this one. Of course, we have Aubrey Scott here. She will referee the next two matches. And then the male referees will be back out for the main events. Well, here we go. Nice roll through there by, by McLeod. We have Mr. Tony Morse back in the ring. Nice leg drop there by Finn Belstead. Or sorry, Finley Alexander. Now we have Finn Belstead. Oh no, wait, never mind. We have Finley Alexander in the ring now. Now one of the two. I lost track. He's saying moon as he hits that shot. It's really weird. Okay, I think we have Finley Alexander. So Finn Belstead will be the one with the sideburns. Yes, I remember. Okay, so Finley Alexander is the one in the ring now. Okay. And Luca Ritchie is the one in the blue jeans. And of course, we have Angus McGregor, the one with the wild orangish hair. And here he comes. Codebreaker. He puts on a leg lock. Mike Maxwell doing a great job as referee for this one. So the winner of this match will learn themselves a, a title shot in the near future of their respective division. So if it's Angus or McLeod, it'll be a world title. If it's Luca, wait one second. No, if it's Luca or Chuck Tyler, it'll be for the Internet Championship. And if it's either Scotland Yard or the Mullers Bros, it'll be for the tag team title. Oh, there we go. Oh, outside the ring. Oh, and he brings a kendo stick in the ring. We got chair too. Oh, no, that's not a kendo stick. That was a light tube. He broke it over his head. Okay. There's Dragon Sleeper there. By Chuck Tyler. This match has just gone back to the way it started. Chuck Tyler. One-on-one. -on -one with Luca Ritchie. This could potentially be a number one contender match for either one of these two. Either way, someone is walking out of here as a number one contender for a future championship match. It will be probably sometime in the next three months. Okay, here comes Colton Morse. He was the first one with the long curly hair. One, 
No. And, and, oh, down he goes. All right, and we have, oh, no, oh, no. We have a twisting leg lock here. But Colton kicks out. I think it's McGregor and company watching from the outside. Here comes Chuck Tyler. Tombstone pile driver. Who will win this epic encounter? Nice move there. Chuck Tyler immediately slaps on a submission hold after that. And of course, Mr. Mike Maxwell calling the action today. Or not calling the action, but you know, watching the action and enforcing the rules. <laughs> There's no rope break, but there are submissions, and there are disqualifications, and there are counters. Of course, next week will be Survivor Series. And the full card will be announced tomorrow night on, Sm on Raw, and Tuesday night on SmackDown. And as of November 26th, after Survivor Series, we will have all of our champions set for the month. Or at least for a couple of weeks. This channel is bringing back Armageddon. And that will be on New Year's Eve. December 31st. And here we go, crossbody. One, two, three, no. A two count. And here comes Finley Alexander with a Hawaiian smasher. One, two, no. Well, either one of these two gentlemen and their teams a tag title show. One, two, three, no. Okay, here comes McLeod. If McLeod makes the pinfall here, he will earn a world title shot. However, oh, here we go. One, two. No. One, two, three, no. However, if uh, Finley Alexander, okay, here comes Angus. Okay, here's the epic face-off that happened. Uh, that happened last month. The cloud came out on top. Angus has a chance at revenge here. And if either one of these two win. They will get themselves a little title shot. Nice stunner. But McLeod gets right back up. Rock bottom. One, two, three, no. McLeod kicks out, tags out to Chuck Tyler. If Chuck Tyler can win, he will get himself a ProtoNet championship match in the near future.
<clears throat> Here we go. More than light suplex followed by an armbar. Will Angus tap out? It's only his second time in the match here. He tags out. Here comes Finn Belstead. He wins, he gets a tag title match. If Chuck Tyler wins, he gets a proto match championship match. Yeah, whoever gets Pin Powers mentioned gets a championship match in their division. And here comes Finley Alexander again. Nice tags between the heel teams. Alright, between the heels, I mean. Oh! Diving leg drop. One. Two, three, ladies and gentlemen, your winners. Team Angus wins this match. Finn Belstead and Finley Alexander that pick themselves up a tag team championship match. And they are the number one contender. They will go against Sanctuary at Endgame. Oh, sorry. Not at Endgame. Wait. Yeah, not at Endgame. On the Miracle on the MWF Miracle before Endgame, they will get a tag team title. Their tag team title opportunity, as they are cashing it in for that time. They will take on Gil and Daryl Sanctuary. Alright, here, ladies and gentlemen, is for the 3DW Kick Ass Championship, which is the women's title on the Kick Ass side. And we have Sora taking on Medusa. And Medusa is part of Masked Mayhem. Sora is the manager of Jojo the Psycho Clown. Well, both of them have matches tonight. Mask Mayhem lost their match earlier. Can Medusa bring it back for her squad? And we start off with a big swing here. As Auburn Scott as the referee. Nice kick to the back of the head there. Well, no, not even a one there. Well, so we may see some high flying here, because, uh, oh, here we go. Big swing there by Medusa. We may see some high flying uh, as Medusa's finisher is the pink arrow, which is actually Neville's red arrow, but, you know, really she wears pink. Oh, same thing, different name. Alright. There's snap suplex there by Medusa. Her husband, Lightning Axe. And Mystery Makeup Masked Mayhem. And she is their manager. S 
Here we go. Prince. Oh no, hold on. Doing something. Oh, drop kick to the face. And a body slam by, by Sora. Food you are on bar there by by Medusa. Sora and Medusa have been going back and forth. Proto is looking on, pretty damn excited it looks like. Of course we heard from Medusa's husband earlier, Lightning Axe. He says that he is confident that Medusa can bring the title home. Kick there by Medusa. And then Mystery just said C. Which of course is Spanish for yes. Here we go. No. Is he not much is known about mystery? And he chooses to keep it that way. Which I really don't blame him at all. Things can get complicated. What is coming up this Thursday is MWF Miracle. We will return to Thursdays and Fridays. Oh, there we go. And we will see the new KPW Tag Team Champions, My Bloody Xmas. They will be in action. One, two, no. Almost a three count, almost a new champion, but Sora kicked out, saving her, her championship. There's no champion's advantage here. Even a disqualification will change a championship. One, two, no. Sora kicks out. Again, almost had a new champion there. We are here at Divided We Fall. I like that uh, ring apron there. Our ring skirt, I should say. What's next month? We have the pay per view end game, which will end a rivalry or more. Of course, Endgame is a parody of both WWE Armageddon and video games. Oh, and Reboot. So it's basically a parody of three different things. So ladies and gentlemen, at Endgame, there will be no, one, two, no, 
Okay, at end game, the end, the KPW or 3DW Kickass Championship will not be on the line at that pay per view. It will instead be on the line at the Kickass beforehand. And ooh, nice move there by Medusa. One, two, no. Sora kicks out, saving the championship. And a Fujiwara armbar. Will she disarm her? No. And another one, two. It's a body slam driver, looks like. The mist misses. Again missing with the mist. Sora taps out. We have a new kick-ass champion. 3DW kick-ass champion is Medusa Liliana Morgan. Alright, so Ms. Liliana Medusa Morgan is the new women's champion. 3DW kick-ass champion with an octopus hold making the champ tap out alright here we go with our final non-world championship match of the night it is with the protonet champion Akira defending against Aiden Burke Aiden won a match earlier on in the month to qualify. <clears throat> of course, Aiden wearing red and black ish, which are the colors for the Atlanta Hawks, which is his NBA, which is his favorite NBA team. And of course, uh, Akira is known as the maestro of martial arts. And next month, ladies and gentlemen, we have Endgame. The winner of this match will, of course, advance to the next pay per view. His opponent will be, we will not know. There's earlier on, okay, of course, I will also urge you to go check out WTF Work Time Fun. Uh, we had nine exciting matches, two of which are two out of three falls. But I would strongly recommend you check them out. <clears throat> oh, there's two out of three falls. They were feud enders. Of course, next week at Survivor Series will be a tag team match. Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander will defend against Cesaro and Sheamus. If Cesaro and Sheamus lose the championship, or the, or, sorry, if they lose their obligated rematch, they are no longer allowed to be a tag team. Losing, uh, they must disband. And a green mist to Aiden Burke. He's still got some mist on his face.
Of course, I'm sure the mist will go away soon. Nice elbow there by the maestro of martial arts. Well, here we go. Uh, Lama, he's tall. That's what he's going for. And he's got it. One, two, no. A power bomb. One, no. Nice Michinoku driver. One, two, no. Of course, earlier tonight, I also saw both of the two out of three, or sorry, both of the four on four matches, and one with a tag team competitor winning for their teams. One. No. Here we go. There's Swanton Bomb. And here is the mist. All right, this just in, ladies and gentlemen. This Thursday night on MWF Miracle, we will see Angus McGregor in the Scotland Yard taking on McLeod, Gill, and Daryl. Shortly after. McLeod came to Canada from Scotland. Daryl and Gil befriended him right away. Okay, uh, Aiden Burke and in at the count of 15. Oh, he gets him with a chair. Uh oh. Moonsault. One, two, Three. Akira wins by dubious means. So your winner is Akira. Due to a corrupt referee. Alright. Because if I were rough in that match, I would not allow that chair shot to go down. Either that or make it a no disqualification. That way it would be legal for both teams. <laughs> so Akira wins by dubious means as he picks up, or as he steals a victory. On Aiden Burke. Alright, here we go with one of our main events of the evening. It is Itchy defending the KPW Championship against JoJo the Psycho Clown. And of course, I'm not using the name JoJo on uh, copyright, I'm using his full name, JoJo the Psycho Clown. All right, here is Itchy and Jojo. Used to be tag team partners, now bitter enemies. <clears throat> yeah, Itchy used to be an evil clown, but changed his ways when the drug wore off. Of course, Jojo still, uh, Jojo the Psycho Clown still willingly takes that drug. 
and he has become quite evil because of it. But can he become world champion? This is a drug that makes you crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Or he actually thinks he's an evil clown. Of course, we saw Sora lose earlier tonight. Will we see the same out of JoJo, the Psycho Clown? TPC, in other words, the Psycho Clown. And well, here we go. One, no, not even a one. And it's uh, clubbing to the back. And elbow to the back of uh, TPC. Rolls him over and a leg lock. Itchy is in a leg lock here. So far tonight, we have four, five new champions. Wait. No, not five. Sorry. Four new champions. And two successful title defenses. If the pattern dictates itself, we will have a new champion at the end of this match. However, we're not going by pattern, we're going by who wins. Alright, and here we go. This neck breaker there by by TPC. And he take a he takes a sickle out. All right, and he's pulling them in, only to get his face busted. And oh, subscriber splash one. A little stronger splash, however the hell you want to avoid that. I just call it a splat. And pile driver. One. No. And here we go. And oh. And Jojo, the Psycho Clown, and Itchy are former tag team champions together multiple times. And things really went south when they lost their, uh, their tag team title uh, just a little while ago. In, in uh, November of last year, actually. So this is basically the one year anniversary of them splitting as a team. And they both have established themselves as main eventers in, the, in that meantime. <coughs> Jojo of the Psycho Clown spraying is missed. And TPC was down. A nice bear hug there. And, oh, atomic drop. Here we go. Camel clutch. And 
There's moves there by Itchy. Another missed towards Itchy, but TPC misses. And here we go. And power bomb. And, jo and Joda's back on his feet. Comes up with a Manhattan drop. Laughs at him. Picks him up again. All right, what do we got? Another Manhattan drop. Body slam for good measure. One, two, no. And, oh, nice body uh, blow there by Itchy. One, two, three, thir no, almost a three. A nice bear hug here. And nice move there. One, two, three. No. We almost had a successful title defense. DDT. And Itchy's back to his feet first. Now, Children of the Psycho Clown. And another bear hug. And there we go. Just standing there. Like a bump on the log. Here we go. Another bear hug. Oh, low blow. Uh, there's a bit of lull in the action, it seems. And, oh, Hurricane Rana. Oh, green mist. Again, sorry about the lack of commentary. That there, there actually has been a lack of action. Just elbow to the back.
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, successful guy little fence by Itchy. And here's your winner and still KPW champion, Itchy. Let's go to the winner's circle. And there it is. Again, sorry about the whole Yeah. Lack of commentary. Thing near the end there was a lack of action. Alright, here we go with our main event of the evening. It is for the MWF Championship. <clears throat> we have Ryder Prendeville defending against the Prophet Noah Colton. And this is the contractually obligated rematch, so if Noah loses here, he will not get a another rematch for a little while however if he does lose here he will be entered into the survivor rumble coming up in February All right, so we have a one-on-one -on -one contest to end our night here. Mr. Mike Maxwell is still in the are still doing refereeing for Miracle Brand. Uh, coming up this week, uh, tomorrow we are. We will also have uh, Monday Night Raw, Tuesday SmackDown, Wednesday of course, WTF Wednesday, and on Raw and SmackDown we will have title uh, uh two uh, we will have a title match each. On thir and, uh, Thursday, of course, is Miracle, which is the follow-up for this, or which is one of the follow-ups for this show. And then, of course, on Friday, KPW Kick-Ass, another follow-up for this show. Coming soon, you'll also have Gosling Empire Elite Wrestling. As well as Animal House Championship Wrestling and NXT, the future is now. Those are coming in the near future. More on that later on. Take some down with some headbutts. Alright, Ryder Prendeville from Leeds, England. Noel Colton from Westbrook, Maine. <coughs> Noel Colton, uh -uh. No, Colton sees himself as the prophet, and he just and he prophe prophesizes that he will be the longest reigning world champion. One, no. Uh, 
All right, and that Noah is down for some strange reason. But anyway, <laughs> drop kick on wrong, I guess. Kitchen sink, and a follow up with a flip sent on, and a clothesline. And oh, there's my splash. One, two, three. No. We almost had a successful title defense there. Spiral. Um. A spiral gut wrench power bomb there. And, oh, clothesline. Oh, oh, punches to the side of the head. Got themselves into a nice strike exchange here. Who's going to win? Oh. Noah Colton wins that strike exchange. But will it be enough to, to have him win the championship? Just drop to hold. One. No. <clears throat> and shooting star splash one two no kicks out one two no kicks out there's <clears throat> a gut wrench power bomb once again. Oh, spinning chop. Ric Flair would be proud. There's a nice look at her ring skirt there to fight up a fall. As I've said before, next time we are. The next time, oh, there we go. One, two, three. Ryder Prendeville keeps the championship. Okay, I was gonna say next time that this is a, uh, our next pay per view will be called End Game. That will be on December seventeenth. And let's go to the winner's circle here. Here we go. Ryder Prenteville Muscle Bomb Press is what I guess they call it. Anyways. That's going to do it here. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter at A13ENT. And of course, have yourselves a great day, night, whatever it may be for you. And of course, as always. Stay frosty.